so you're gonna pay me to work with you on something that we just decided together that's what it's gonna be I was sold this was the beginning of how I became a brand strategist In 2015, I went to an audio engineering school. I was passionate about art, music, and business, and I didn't know what I wanted to do. So the first thing I thought was like, okay, so let's become a professional DJ. It's gonna serve me well in life. Fast forward to the end of the program, uh, we kept getting discouraged by the teachers there to pursue a career in music because I guess they couldn't or they didn't. For a fact, at least there was one teacher that was a professional DJ, and that was inspiring to us. He was working, well, he still is working with Dead Mouse on his label. Nevertheless, when the course was over, I was 21, and all all I wanted to do was making money and that was not happening in the music scene for me at the time at least I couldn't find a way to monetize this so I just gave up I'm pretty sure that eventually in the future I'm gonna go back to music if it's just for passion or for pleasure because it truly is a passion of mine this is where the fun begins out of the blur one of my friends told me about a job he found and he just quit the next week he had he got the job because he had another job that was paying a lot more so he told me hey do you want this job it's basically sales in a, in a real estate corporation and you'll be like making 75 to 150k a year if depending on your commission so it was like hell yeah bro I want to make money so I took the job I worked there for about six months don't get me wrong I was good at it but I didn't enjoy the way well I didn't feel like it was serving my purpose in life and my purpose was to be helping building learning something in that sphere that I didn't know quite just yet so one morning I just came in gave in my resignation and out of the blur decided to move everything I had my life every Everything to Australia with my girlfriend at the time and this is where my life started to shift drastically so I spent about four months in Australia I went there and I thought okay so let's live the life the digital nomad let's build a business on the fly let's do all of the things as it turns out it was a lot more expensive than I thought we only stayed four months as I mentioned and my credit card was loaded I could not spend a dime more so I had to make a decision and we decided to come back to Montreal it all came about after we spent Christmas in, a, in an hostel in Tasmania and I was alone without friends family far from everyone like literally far far from everyone because we were at the other side of the planet and it made me realize that I did not really want to be somewhere else I wanted I wanted to do something else but I, I had this itch in me that I needed to travel to see the world and blah 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 but the fact is I wanted to be near friends families and I didn't hate Montreal in the end I like it here I like to live here and, and I'd like to build a business here eventually that was my thinking back then that was an eye-opening moment for me I did not want to go back in a corporate job so I was like okay Okay, so what can I do so I did start to do uber uber yeah I started to drive people around uh, for about six months I have to be honest 12 hours a day driving in my own car the car was comfortable it was a brand new car at the time but I did not enjoy that and I was getting bored of it out of the blue I kept meeting random business people in Montreal because I was driving around in Montreal this is where the money was for uber and I kept meeting with with, with the business people and, and it made me think oh why don't I just go to a networking event near where I live and that's where the, 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 the little flame started to spark in my career. Fast forward to the event, I decided to just put on a jacket, a pair of clean jeans, and I went. My only purpose there was to meet people, chat with them, and since I didn't have any business nor anything to sell, I was like, okay, so let's just, let's just have fun and see what happens. Early in the evening, I've spotted a guy, his name was Phil, but I didn't know that back then. So I spotted him because he was the only guy that was not wearing a suit. He had a lumber jacket and a cap on. I was like, this is my my guy this is not intimidating we can just chat about anything I guess As it turns out it was the owner of a successful business of, a, of personal training and he has fifth employee under him working uh, to train clients we started to chat about anything and everything we shared a common passion with marketing and we just clicked it, it, it just clicked like that what I can remember from that event is that we dove deep in subjects like which are the best branding strategies which are great content strategies which platform should you use for your, this type of businesses or we talked about entrepreneurship and how powerful having a brand that works for you while you, while you sleep is in this day and age it was a great conversation in in all aspects of it and immediately he invited me to his gym to visit him the next week do you start to see a breadcrumbs here like I did not have anything to sell and we start to chat about things we both enjoyed and I I made a connection I mean I met the guy and we just went went from there
Monday comes and I go to the meeting. As it turns out, there was more personal training businesses under the same roof, about four to be exact. I thought, oh my God, if I click with this guy, maybe I'll have more clients right off the bat. Little did I know what was to come. So we just start chatting and there was this colleague of his just in the back and he was hearing us from from a side and he was like oh okay so what, what did you do so so he stops us his name was jacob and he stops us and he's like okay so when you're done talking with phil can you come meet me upstairs in my office and i was like yeah sure sure i don't mind yeah i went back to chat with phil eventually we did work together but not at, the, at that moment and that was it for the for the first meeting after the meeting i just went upstairs i met jacob and we started to chat. We started to talk about what he needed me for because he didn't know what I was doing just yet. I hadn't talked to this guy at the event, so I, I, he didn't know. So we did a brief history of like what I like to do, what I could do. And it turns out he needed someone to help him um, with his content strategy for social media. That's how we got into the, the conversation of like, okay, so you need help to structure your thing. I have like an idea of how I can help you. So why not work together? It was super organic. And like, remember back then it was 2016. 16 and social media actually had organic reach back then so that was a different time what he wanted was to be the the most known personal trainer or personal training business in quebec at the time and it still is his goal he's still growing and i'm super proud of this guy so i was like all right okay so you want me to help you structure your stuff let me go back home and think about something i could do for you literally so i went back to him for a second meeting and i offered him like a, a consulting gig sort of thing and i offered him to be a uh, what was I think it was I offered him 10 hours a month to do like a monthly meeting of a brainstorming strategy I would give him a content a content strategy plan I would help him with uh, his day-to-day -day in the content strategies like how he deploy how he publish his content to make sure the quality was top-notch to make sure the story was great that we've reached the, the right persona for his business and it was super fun and I like I, I built all of my tools from this first client because it was something that a business needed, that I enjoyed doing, that I could help with, and I was interested in. So I was like, okay, so you're gonna pay me to work with you on something that we just decided together that's what it's gonna be? I was sold. This was the beginning of how I became a brand strategist. So from now on, I did everything I could to learn about content strategies. I've learned a lot since then i've read so many books um and yeah that was five years ago and that's basically how i became a brand strategist i just kept going on that niche because i found that like yes of course personal trainers needed to brand themselves in businesses and gyms and whatever but i found that like more than this person I had no idea how to use social media to promote their brands and to work with well to work with their own clients like using those technologies like people were like in quebec at least in montreal they didn't know what it could do. Like you hear about Gary V and all of those guys in Mon and other Montreal in New York that like use this to explode businesses, social media to explode businesses. But here it was like, oh no, we just do events, networking, and we cold call people. Nobody really used social media to build a business, a real business. So that was a great moment in time for me to learn and teach and share what I've known. I did conferences too, to like 30 trainers at one point. It was amazing, an amazing experience. And yeah, that's how I became a brand strategist. From wanting to become a DJ, to going to corporate sales, selling advertising in magazines, to go all the way to Australia, start to build a business, doesn't work, fails miserably, full of debt, come back, ride for a Uber, do that for about six months, go to an event out of the blue. I still have no idea like what went through my mind when I wanted to go to that event. Like I just went after talking to a few business people. Meet Phil, meet Jacob, get my first client. I did not have a business at that time, so my business was and is still Simon Paquin Consultant Inc. It's just what it was that I saw at that time. Now we're today, I've just closed my office, which is gonna be a video that I'm gonna share with you soon because 2020 was a year, my friend. Yeah, the office is done. I'm in my new home, we bought a house, and I'm back at working from home. My team went from about five to two, and we are leaning out. And this is my new home. So I hope I'll see you next week. And uh, sorry for being late in two uploads in the past two weeks. It, I, we were moving, so that was chaotic. I'm back on the regular schedule of one video a week. So I'll see you next Monday at 6 a.m. Eastern and 9, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Peace, guys.